What's up YouTube? Uh, so today I'm going to actually take a look at Hogwarts Legacies, check it out, and tell you guys what I think about it. Now, already, right off the bat, there are a few things that kind of irked me about this game that I'm just going to go on and get out of the way. One of which is, when you first run the game, rather than running the game and you know like most games it takes you to a main menu this game will launch you through a setup process right out of the starting gate and to be honest that kind of annoyed me a little bit uh, i didn't mind going through the the settings part so much as i did not want to be launched directly into the game and having to make a character right off the bat so I ended up going with Spike Blood Slayer um, when it did that to me, uh, which was a name I used um, when I took a break off of Kari in Star Wars Galaxies. I'd go to a server called Bloodfin, and I made a character on Bloodfin called Spike Blood Slayer, who was modeled off of Spike from Buffy the Vampire uh, Slayer, that show, and all that. Anyway, um, one of the things that kind of irked me uh, is when I was making this character, I ran into a name restriction. I actually cannot use the name Spike at all as a character, and that irked the living crap out of me. Out of all the names in the world that I would think would be blocked, you would think, Spike would be an acceptable name, but apparently you cannot use the name Spike, hence why I had to go with the Star Wars Galaxy spelling I used, um, because somebody had taken a name on the server, which is not a big super deal, but um, I just think it's kind of stupid to have naming restrictions in a single player game. Also, uh, while the forums have kind of toned down, they also kind of have not for this game. And you want to kind of walk softly, I guess. And the reason I say that, I got a warning or whatever when I basically gut checked somebody. And while I did not feel I was disrespectful in, in how I gut checked someone, um, they were being nasty to somebody for, for sharing a mod on the forums, and so I basically had told them to chill out, and apparently I got a warning for that, so it's like that over there, so you guys kind of want to be careful when you're interacting with people on the forums. Something worth noting, um, I am going to go into my settings to show you guys uh, a couple of things that do irk me. For example, uh, you cannot go into true full screen mode. That irks me so badly with a lot of games out here, especially um, higher end games where they basically phase out the ability to go into true full screen where you can get the full benefit of your graphics card. I absolutely hate that. Uh, that is one of the things that I was not a fan of with this game and the other reason why is because you're locked out of basically being able to change your resolution any at all so I tweaked everything for performance on my settings um, the only thing I wasn't too clear on was this NVIDIA reflex that I have And I normally turn VSync off. I'm kind of on the fence post on whether or not to leave that on or off. But most everything I sort of ran through and ticked off on. Also, um, regardless of what your PC settings are, or not PC, but what your... Um, your computer specs are on your rigs there are a lot of people that have a lot of problems with this game some people have zero problems um so i want to note that 
I am actually running this game on a gaming laptop that still needs to have RAM upgraded on it. So I'm at the stock default 8 gigabytes of RAM running a 4 gig NVIDIA card. I forget the exact card in this laptop, but basically I have a 4 gig video card. So I'm running shy of 8 gigs of RAM, which is the minimum. However, I would probably recommend, um, if you have it to do, probably for decent gameplay, probably going over 32. 32 or more would be best, you know. So, but, I mean, there are people that have 64 gigs of byte of RAM that they're playing with and 8 gigabyte video cards and still having issues for whatever reason with this game. And that absolutely amazes me. Um, I have no mods on here. And the only tweak that I have done outside of what I've showed you in the settings is a engine INI tweak that I saw rolling around on Reddit that some people have claimed has fixed some of the stuttering issues. Whether that will help me or not, I don't know. And it probably doesn't help that I have OBS running in the background. So, while I didn't get very far on this character, um, I, I'm actually going to just create a brand new character. I'm actually just go through and create a brand new character for the series and see how we go. So, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and you will, uh, will and will accompany. I can't read worth a dang today. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig, well, I hope I pronounced that name right, to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term fest and the sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Alrighty then, well, thank you so very much for that. Let's start the game. Okay. Hmm. So many choices. I'm just going down. I want to see each one. Now, depending on how I play, I may alter my settings at some point down the road, but I want to start off on this and see how I go. I'm trying to think of who this dude reminds me of. He reminds me of somebody famous, but I cannot for the life of me figure out who. Uh, 
So I get to choose different faces. You look like you need some lotion, bruh. Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, I mean to go that far back. Way right about there. That's sort of a Clark Kent looking vibe. Let's see. I'm wondering if we get to change this after we get further along in the game. I already have an idea of what I'm going to name this character. I just want to try to find the perfect look for said character. I give them credit. They give uh, quite a few styling options. Oh, they really mixed and matched it up, didn't they? <laughs> wow. I think that's a very common hairstyle. I've seen this actually uh, as an option in several games. Matter of fact, this one too. Yeah. Oh, I can go ball. All right. Oh, that's Okay. Uh, 
<clears throat> Lose the freckles, scars, and markings. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Uh. I don't know why the selection seems different from to me when I made the first character. Kind of like that Wolverine look. You know what? Considering what I'm fixing to name you, I'll give you the badass Wolverine complexion, freckles and moles. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can change this or whatever at some point in the game. Now, do we want to stick? with them eyebrows. Oh, that just looks creepy as shit. You know what? Let's see. Hold on. Which one are the... Not a side by man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Boys, <clears throat> so now let's see if they will actually give us a name. We'll start on normal mode. What's the difference? Story focus on story with minimal gameplay challenge. They like gameplay challenge, they balance the gameplay challenge. A demanding gameplay challenge. You know, I got enough demanding crap in my life, you know, so I think I'm going to stick with normal. And the name we're going to go with. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Harry. Pong. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I misspelled Harry. Hold on. I'm over here being a smart ass. There we go. Harry Potter. See, because before there was Harry Potter, there was Harry Potter. Yeah. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. 
Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me with the time again. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start-of-term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I... received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do not...
your hand! You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Uh, let's do our heal thing. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit I would but stay close we've no idea who created this port key or why all right well while you look around um I'll be right back guys I what I normally do is I like to do a backup of my save when I first create a game so I'm gonna do that and I will be right back all right I'm back guys um Move around. Oh, one thing to note before I go. Um, one of the things that I, I may not have mentioned earlier was that uh, while I'm not really a big fan of this ex in exclusivity in games, I do deal with it. I mean, you know, it's kind of nature of the beast, but one of the things that kind of also irked me um, was all the whole having to sign up for this account, do this, do that, and everything, because not everybody has a Twitch account. And so, I mean, I do, so it wasn't a big issue, but I know a lot of people who don't. And in order to get exclusive items, you got to sit there and watch crap. You know, a lot of people, you know, I'm, you know, nothing against streamers or anything. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm doing this series, but I'm trying to figure out how to put this. Um, not everybody likes to watch live streams. So not everybody has a Twitch account. So those who don't do that kind of thing, I mean, they're pretty much ass out of items that really should be readily available to them in game. I mean the only thing you should have to do is buy the game and have all the content in the game accessible to you. So that is one thing that I kind of kind of irked me, you know. I kind of didn't really like. You know, I had to run and go sign up for a fan club. I had to sit around watching streams. Um which wouldn't bother me if that's what I was in the mood to do, but to actually have to watch it in order to earn a drop yeah that 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 part there kind of annoyed me but I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way uh, I, I kind of feel bad for those people who aren't into that how far did that port key take us farther from London than the carriage traveled we're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands sir those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, and on the note of um, backing up games, I also, also kind of want to um, 
mentioned that you guys might want to be in the habit of backing up your games. Uh, a lot of people have complained about sinking a lot of hours into the game and having issues with Steam Cloud and losing their saves. So I definitely encourage people to back up their saves between playthroughs. I will put the location for that in the link in the description so you know where to go for it. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Wait a minute, that's a link in the description. I actually meant I'll Hogwarts put the location. Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Try not to talk a lot while we're doing the storyline stuff. I am kind of curious how well the open world is. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus <clears throat> on the center. Tap to perform a basic cast. Sure, no problem. Excellent! Uh, hold this down. Alright, let's go. It's the adventures of that Harry Potter. was Ball. a bit rougher than I'd expected. Come on, man. Ah, up there. We're close now. It's just ahead. Now you would think an experienced wizard like this would be able to just cast a portal and we portal to wherever we want to go. I mean, it, is portaling a thing in Harry Potter? Steady yourself! I can't remember. Reparo! Well, that works too. If only you could clean your room like that, you know, or your house. Just clean oh and everything just gets clean. Almost there. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Mini map shows you surroundings with blah in the middle and blah is your current objective. Press B to toggle objective details. Okay. So let's press B. Professor Fig and I have traveled via Portkey to remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We might meet Duncan McLeod at the Clown McLeod. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. I will tell me something I don't know. So, I got a little dot right here. Professor, 
It's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps Ooh. our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! It is a statue. He needed to use the clean old spell that this was his home. He needed to clean the place. That's the problem. That's what happens to your house when y'all don't clean people. Take note. I mean, you know, then, you know, everything gets full. Light in ruins. Laying in ruins, however the hell you say it. Things glowing and you can't do nothing with them. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Oh, well, let's go find out. What's this? Professor Fig! Well, it started off looking like a big black booger on the wall, and now it's a mirror with a room in the background. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. He's old, dude. Us old people don't see that much. We only see the important stuff. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Huh? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Show me stay the money! Close. Hell yeah, I'm gonna stay close, man. He's got the money. He said ball, man. It's gotta be loaded. After you. Yeah, I gotta go get my stuffs. Keep your hands inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Good rule of thumb. Can't really argue that.
How many volts are there in green points? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I gotta say, it is a pretty game. I gotta give them credit where credit is due. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. My man looked kind of grouchy. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you for your help. Yeah, I don't trust you, little dude. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. You... Wait! You're supposed to show me the money! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Well, that's not good. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. A revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Yeah, you know, I just thought about it. Unless I missed it, I have to go back and look, but I don't even know what house I joined or if it gave me a choice to join a dang house. Or maybe that's later in the game. Crap, I don't know. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Really? So we got to do this? Uh, uh, maybe I'm supposed to. Alright, so there we go. Revelio. There, 
I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Alright. It's close enough. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Of course, not But to what end, vault. I can't say. They got no Stay money. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I ain't never banking here again. They're all fired. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Yeah, let's go to the creepy light. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Interesting. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. Oh, see an edit, the reflection's yeah. still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Ah, <sighs> really? You have acquired one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted for your first spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your one to help you see in dark areas. Why do I need a spell for that? It's called a flashlight. What, nobody thought to bring one? Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. See now, if y'all had to turn the light Look on. Out! Protego! Accio! Defendo! Levioso! Deposo! Levioso! Uh. Confringo Diponego Descendo Levioso Oh man, I'm gonna get my butt kicked Confringo Exposo Confringo Diponego Uh Alright, so I do not like how Confringo 
Get off me. Must have the time to come my way. Stay close. I am all out of heels. Yo, Professor, you got heels, man? Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, man. Get out of my head. This is not good. Now I got Lumos. Take the light bulb out here. Right. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Uh, see where we are going. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. There's a chest over here. Lumos. Wait a minute, is there any more loots? with their reflections. Wow, seriously? Y'all just gonna zip me right back. Alright, well this ain't gonna go well. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Potato! Stupid! Hmm. Ah, shit. Alright, so this is the thing about starting off in a game, man. When you're in the middle of combat, they want to give you these pop-ups. Don't pop shit up at me when I'm trying to fight. See, that is the most annoying thing I have had. I, I really hope once I get through this part, we're not going to have crap like this in the game no more. Cause that, that is so annoying. Let me figure it out for myself. One of y'all is gonna be uh, punk. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to time this right. Uh, this is a shitty spell. Oh wow. I'm really gonna have to time this. See, it doesn't last that very long. Wow. Okay. Alright. Alright, so. I'll, I'll be right back. 
Alright, I'm back guys. I had to go deal with some stuff on the RL side, so uh, so far I'm proving to be a very crappy wizard. Very bomb. Alright man, so we're gonna try again. Let's see how how well we do or don't do. Confringo. Oh! Exposo. Oh. Had to learn this timing. Stupid. Uh. disappear again professor professor fig professor where are you this isn't good I don't think he stayed close again guys Lumos yep where am I supposed to go what's happening I hear something. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's money. Any good loots? I don't get no fat loots. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Man, is there any loot? Wasn't there a chest around here? Lumos. Lumos. We need the fat loots. There we go. I found the fat loots. Fifty-one bucks. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah, we're on our own, so let's try not to get our behind kicked. Really not looking forward to this, because it worked out oh so well for us the first time. Lumos. Lumos. You know, the to align these statues with their reflections. Yeah, you know, the trick is keeping them in your no view. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Ah. Damn it! Ah. Freaking timing, man. Of course. Of course. And I took a hit because of that. Uh. Uh. Which one of y'all is going? Come on, which one? Get up. Get up, punk. Uh, yeah, punk. Uh, get your bitch ass back. Uh, see, 
Y'all know who y'all messing with. I'm figuring it's get out. Oh, uh, get your bitch ass back. Oh, okay. Got my bitch ass back. Uh, huh? Who's going? Ah. Gotta work on that timing, guys. Ow, oh, that was just a waste of a shield. A heal. How this thing was supposed to heal you all the way? Oh, crap, man. Get off me, punk. Uh, that's why you're getting bitch slapped. Uh, pick that here. Oh, I lived. All right, hold Q Derm. Pro go to. Man, wasn't I already doing that? Oh, wow, more of you. Crap. A shitty ass timer on this bill. Uh, get down. Down. Officially annoyed at the tutorial. Third time is a charm. Let's try this crap again. Third time is a charm. During Protego to stun enemies, blah 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 blah. We do not give a shit. Come on, let's go. Y'all have officially annoyed me now. Get your ass down there. Get your ass down there. Bitch, get your ass down there. Uh, get your ass down there. Get your ass down. Boy. Oh. Oh crap, okay. Alright. Uh. Uh. Man! Crap! The last dude's gonna get me. There, come on, uh, get your ass down. Punk. Man, it got on my nerves. All right, Lumos. Okay. Revelio. Protego. I didn't mean to do Lumos. that. Lumos. Man, I hope you ain't making me do this again. Uh. 
I could press the arrow key. I mean, hell, I thought I was going to do like a cinematic when it dark out like that, so. Protego! Lumos! Uh, uh, we're definitely gonna have to change some hotkeys. All right, man. Is this the elevator? Is this the way out? Revelio. Some more than healing potions. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? Where the I hell have you know. been? But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. You left me out there with that them wawa. That is offensive for viewing memories. What an asshole. I wonder. I'd have stick this one straight up your you know what for that. Got me working. Follow my lead. Yeah, because that worked out real well last time. Just gonna drink out the nasty ass bowl, ain't you? Wall is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <clears throat> uh, sir, 
They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a... <laughs> I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Again for a whooping. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Alright, so is that the end? Game over. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. 
The sorting ceremony's over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh. Well, you're just a barrel of laughs. We'll call him Chuckle. Professor Chuckle. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Alright, so this is how we figure out our house. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Huh, okay. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Well... If memory serves, school pretty much sucked, so I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Building out will take your choice in account when sorting you into your house. Or you can choose a different house. Okay. Eh, we'll accept it. Why not? Better be Gryffindor! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. Professor I'm... Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm I remember the first to it. time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The, the password, password is, is password. Gratadomum. Gratadomum. 
You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay. So I think I'm gonna call it here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna call it here. Go on and see if I can save the game. That way I can uh, restart the game or whatever and I'll do another video. I'm pretty sure I'm having some stuttering issues with OBS running in the background and the fact that I've probably been recording for guessing maybe at least an hour however long it took to run through that whole tutorial thing for the most part it played fairly smooth but towards the end here whatever uh, as you guys caught on it kind of started um, stuttering a little bit so yeah so we'll, we'll take more of an in-depth look at this and I'll give my thoughts and opinion on the game as uh, as we're progressing on this let's play and see what I think, see how well the game runs, and um, whether or not it's doable, you know. Maybe if there's any additional fixes I can do to help it out. Um, yeah, that's all I have for now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. Take care, stay safe everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next video.